MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's the finale, Game 7 of the National League Championship Series between the Chicago Cubs and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. And Danny, everything to play for here as we get ready for Game 7. Well, to me, this game is all about which team handles the pressure of Game 7 the best. The players know what's at stake. The fans know what's at stake. The winner goes to the World Series. The loser goes home. Every play really matters. So we'll see who can play the cleanest game and come up with some timely plays. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. Tony Gonsolin gets the ball here at home in Game 7 of the League Championship Series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? You know, Matt, his last one wasn't horrible, but this guy did give up five runs in his last start. He was tagged with the loss, and he's going to look to be a lot better in this one here today. Coming to the plate now, Chris Bryant. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. One and one, here it is. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Bellinger comes on now, and he has it one down. That is second. The first baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. off here ball four and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away batting third the shortstop top the air Bino. Rizzo, base runner at first with one out. Drill down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, D-Row, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low-ball umpire or a high-ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's approachable. As, a, as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around and say, is that as far as you're going today? And Woody will usually give you an answer. Into the box, Kyle Schwarber fouled off. Good battle, count remains full. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game where he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle.
Line foul into the seats over the Dodger dugout. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Bottom of the first, straight ahead. We're scoreless on MLB Network. You Darvish will do the pitching in hostile territory here for Game 7 of the LCS. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. fouled away the one two is a wave and a miss he struck him out another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's Corey. one of my favorites, mostly because of his Neither. stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the box now, Corey Seager. One and two. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is set in a tone pound in the zone. This is line to left. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the that inside half of the plate right there. Oh, Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he ah. fights it off the other way. Yeah, you took your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. In now, Max Muncy. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Batting four. Will cover fielder. Cody. So two men are on with one man out. And that brings in the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Called strike that time, and it's even a two and two. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. And he fouls this one off. Runners are at first and second with one away. And another foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. Now with the plate, A.J. Pollock. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. And he takes a cold strike, too. Here's the one and two delivery. 
hard hit ball to short. There's Baez. Kittermas on to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. And inning in the books. No score on MLB Network. Here's Jason Hayward now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The 1 1 pitch. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Batting seven. The designated hitter, Cameron Maybe. Now it'll be the Cubs DH. Cameron Maven. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The one two. Just down. No score here as we play inning number two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peterson has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And with two away, look at our playoff tree here. And the winner of this series, of course, will battle the Minnesota Twins, who have already celebrated taking the American League pennant. Stepping in, Ian Happ. Here's the one and two. Got him swinging on the splitter that time. And with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Last half of the second set to go. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Jock Peterson. Jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Well, he kind of struggled through that first inning, but ended up getting out of it. Now here in the second, you know he'd love to get this leadoff guy and get off on the right foot and maybe settle into this game a bit. The one-two is laid ball, off for ball two. bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. The classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Standing in now, Justin Turner. No. And a good pitch, but it misses here, and that moves the count back to even on the Dodger third baseman. Two and two. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Now with the plate, Will Smith, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Darvish pauses, looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Top of the third set to get underway. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. The 
one one strike two swinging beautifully thrown splitter right there high 80s down in the zone looks like a fastball coming and then boom the bottom falls out of it terrific pitch Shift will not amount to much here as this is lifted in the air out to right field. Betts is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. So in now for Chicago, Chris Bryant. He flew out in his last at bat. Cubs to this point have yet to break into the hit column. Swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. And the 1-1 pitch toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat, if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Stepping in now, Javier Baez. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One and two, here it is. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Danger averted following the two-out double. We played two and a half, no score on MLB Network. of the third now and that'll bring in the second baseman Gavin Lux yep. and he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner it's one and two did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here is swung on and missed five quick strikeouts now and that's your first out of the inning boy he's really on a roll on the hill right now as we roll through it again remember he struck out the side in the last inning and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Two and one now to Mookie. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. one home no. to be honest with you I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now if I'm on the mound I want this guy up right now he's the guy that's got to beat me little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first Payoff pitch home. He ball loses four. him on ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up or he can really hurt. Him. 
Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. Darvish a check on first. Runner back standing. Runners on first with one down. And another throw over. A dive, but he's back. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think he's going to put the ball in play. Three two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. To the plate now, Max Muncy. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for L.A. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The one-two pitch. High and deep down the left field line. But this will land foul just shy of the wall. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. Late now, Wilson Contreras. A ball and two strikes. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. The lefty Jason Hayward waits in the on-deck circle. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Swing and a liner. Foul. Another payoff pitch. Hits this one hard the other way. And there's out number two. Now so bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the multi-gold glover Jason Hayward. The 1-1 one -one home. Ball. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. All right, not good. Huh, and he good. takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare, almost unhittable. Nasty downward action, high 80s velocity. Here it takes as that pitch misses for ball four. He'll take the walk. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. 
also striding in Cameron Mabin so far 0 for 1 with a fly out. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And it's 1-2. One and two. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Hit out towards second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The better fielder. Adapt and persevere. That's what I always said on the offensive side. Down in the count right there. Batter hits a ground ball the other way. He's able to fight off a tough count and get himself a base hit. Into the box, Ian Happ. Happ with a 2-1 and one count now. Two ball. Two men are on with two men out. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting a fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. Stepping up to the plate, Jason Kipnis. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Shot down the line. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Cubs wind up leaving him loaded. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Cody Bellinger. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old-fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Into the box now. A.J. Pollock uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. And it's fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fouled off. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. The one two. Him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung out and missed for the second out. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back to back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts and all. So now to the plate, Jock Peterson. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in, jam, sandwich. Garbage pauses, one two on its way. Now a drive out to left center field. 
Digging for second now goes Peterson. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be one of those one, two, three easy innings. But now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here. Standing in now, Justin Turner. Swing and a miss on the cut fastball, one and two. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Hit hard and caught down there at third. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. Dodgers leave one through four. Still tied, nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He cited the four walks they've earned already as evidence that his guys are waiting for the right pitch and that they're willing to let the opposition work themselves into trouble. So far, that's paying off. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready with the one and one. Now, a bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. And now, Anthony Rizzo. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. The one two fouled away. The one two high in the air out to center field. Bellinger's under it. Two down. The bat under nine. And that brings up Javi Baez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. The 3 1. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across, the game is still tied, and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game, and that they just need to stick to the process. Thank you, Heidi. So coming to the plate, Will Smith. He'll begin things here against you, Darvish. The 1-1. One, one. Ball. 2-1. Two, one. Mm -hmm. 
skied into straightaway right. Hayward giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now back. Number nine. Next up for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking, too, right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Late now, Mookie Betts. And he'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. No runs, three hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. His second home run of the series. And the Dodgers move in front now two to nothing. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter. And every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno. Number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else. And he did just that. To the plate now, Corey Seager. Ball. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two balls. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball to strike, so gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. Still only one out in the inning. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. So he sets him down swinging. Corey Seager becomes the second out in the bottom of the fifth. Into the box, Max Muncy. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Bases are empty here with two men out. On the ground to the right side. Taken in by Kipnis. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. But the Dodgers do strike for two coming on this two run home run. Five innings complete. It's now 2 0 LA. Ready for another shot now. Kyle Schwarber comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Chopper foul. He's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. He's been in total control out there tonight. He gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. Into the box now, Wilson Contreras hit hard towards center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle.
At the plate, Jason Hayward. Popped high in the air. Turner is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. The bat, Ready once again, Cameron Maben. A hit in two tries for him so far. Now the three and two pick. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. To first. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for the Cubs. They're down two to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. It's two balls and two strikes now. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. 3-2 pick. Line hard to the left side. But foul. The next 3-2. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Into the box. A.J. Pollock. Over two on his line thus far. Bases are empty. One man out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So two gone now for the Dodgers in the sixth. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. The 3-2 pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no 1-2-3 inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. Now batting. The third base man. So striding forward now, Justin Turner. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. All even now, two and two. Two out with the man at first. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hard hit at third. As it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for L.A. They're up two to nothing. Jake McGee is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 41, Jake McGee. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. The three and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Ready now with the payoff pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. 
Bellinger is right there, one down. Now that. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And that's the second out. Here's Chris Bryant now. His individual history against Jake McGee. He's a 333 hitter. Ground ball right side. Scooped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Dodgers lead it two to nothing. Dan Winkler gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Dan Winkler. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it'll be the catcher, Will Smith. A ball and two strikes now. You like the modern style of baseball, here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Line toward the alley in left center. Now a reach, and he takes a tumble here, but hangs on for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Gavin Lux will try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. He stays alive, still two and two. One out, nobody on. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. The 3-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. The next 3-2. A bouncer up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Sometimes you get lucky in this game. I don't think pitch recognition-wise, he would choose to swing at that exact pitch. But you know what? Sometimes the result is only coming to matters. Mookie Betts will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only runs of the ball game on one swing of the bat, as this was the swing right here. Runner at first here, one man out. Line toward right center. And now a lunging catch, and he does a full gainer as well, but somehow hangs on for the second out. The batter, number five, first up, Corey Seager. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. Line drive to center field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Dodgers leave one, but they're on top two to nothing. Blake Trinan has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 49. Blake Trinan. 
ready to begin the eighth and set to go is the veteran first baseman Anthony Rizzo starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally the 2 1 waves and misses for strike number two hey you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too they're executing their pitches out there it's going to be tough to score some runs fastball swung on and missed for the first down well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. So now to the plate, Javier Baez. The ball and two strikes. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. The one-two. And he'll try oh. to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Skied into straightaway right. That's giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. The next hubba, Kyle Schwarber. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Two out, nobody on. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Again, a one-two. Ground ball right side, straight into the shift. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Muncie, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're still down. It's two-nothing. Rowan Witt is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 15. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitter Max Muncy. Now the 2 1 pitch is taken for strike two. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. The 2-2. Two -two. Pulled toward right center field. Half is under this one. One down. Now Cody Bellinger at the plate now. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. 
Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. The one-two. Fouled away. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. At the plate now, A.J. Pollard. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Ball three. Three and two now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Schwarber is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Kenley Jansen takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 74, Kenley Jansen. one pitch high in the air out to center field center fielder giving chase he makes the catch a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning so that'll bring up Jason Hayward over two of the walk for him so far close but it's ball four according to Woody Keller the bat, number 15, designated hitter, Cameron. at the plate Cameron Maven he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time yeah Matty expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here the double play is in order anything on the ground the way this defense is they could certainly roll to Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. Runners on first with one down. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode to the plate now Ian Happ breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone Jason Kipnis would be next One pitch. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Yanked on the ground down the line. And Tinseltown will be a glow tonight. The Dodgers are National League champions.
well. They've taken care of business all season long, and tonight was no exception. They've proven to be the best team in the National League. Now it's time to see if they can become the best in the entire game. Celebrate tonight, and the World Series is next. Congrats to the NL champs. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, not the longest outing you'll ever see. Six innings, but he definitely was a factor in the game. Did a good job while he was out there, and he gets the W because of it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Glezak, and our excellent crew, this is Matt Vaskirgen saying so long. You've been watching the National League Championship Series.